Hello and welcome to The Cook's Pantry. Courts and I are teaming up again. Thanks for coming in, buddy. Thanks for having me here. So we're gonna be doing a poached pear. I'm sure you've all seen it done before in a, in a good old red wine liquid. Uh, we're gonna do it in a saffron broth with a pistachio hazelnut dukkha. Uh, plenty of spices in there. Gonna bring it into 2017. Sounds great. All right, let's do it. Now, I'm no maestro when it comes to cooking desserts, especially when it comes to, to baking and things like that, where there's there's a science. The, the rules are written, you have to follow them. You if, and me both. If yeah. you don't, <laughs> you're in a world of hurt. So desserts like this, I find, uh, an awesome go-to, good to have in your armory, uh, very, very simple steps to follow, and you get phenomenal results. So- Love it. Poach pears, it's it's an old school classic, but we're gonna be doing it today a little bit different. Um, so I've just got in a, a decent sized stock pot here, got a litre of water, and we're just gonna get all of our all of our flavours in there. So the base flavour is gonna come from the beautiful saffron, and then we're gonna build on that with, with some very familiar spices, cinnamon, nice. star anise, and cloves. Those guys generally always hang out together. All right, so water's starting to come up to a bit of a simmer. I'm gonna go in with the saffron. So we've got a decent pinch there. As soon as it hits, bang, you start to get that colour. beautiful orange colour coming out of there, nice. which is what's gonna transfer into those pears. It's got a, how do you describe the flavour of saffron? Sunshine. One. People, people on <laughs> TV always say a taste of sunshine. Yeah, it's 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 very, very unique. It's earthy. It's earthy, it's, it's sweet, it's, yeah. yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Try it yourself. So, <laughs> couple of cloves in there. Nice. So it's got that Christmassy, Christmassy kind of yeah. hit to it. You've got some cloves, a couple of sticks of cinnamon and a couple of star anise. I like it. So we'll get them in there. Of course, a little bit of sugar. So you've got about half a cup. You're basically just making a little simple syrup. Uh, so a sugar syrup, get your flavors in there. You can smell that smell already. Straight away. So as soon as we get that, that sugar melted, in with the pears, lid on, and then we'll just get it down to a gentle simmer and they'll tick away for about half an hour to soften up. Then we'll get cracking with a good old Dukkha? Dukkha. Dukkha. All right, so poaching liquids come up to a, a nice simmer. That smelling incredible as it, it is. really good. Now, just a couple more to boost it. Ginger. Nice. And a, a bit of orange. We're just gonna go with some peel. Try to avoid having any of the white. Right, so we're just gonna fold them up, give them a bit of a squeeze, try to press any of the oils out. In we go, in Gingery. with ginger. Nice. Now, we can go in with the pears. So these have just been peeled and cored, and then we just cut a flat base on the bottom so they sit nice and square on the base of that pot. So I'm guessing you've peeled the mats so they soak up the saffron colour exactly. and all the flavours? Exactly, so you get all that flavour absorbing into the flesh. Right. And you get, a, you know, it looks really good presentation wise. You get that nice colour. Are they going to fit? Just. Just. Perfect. One on the side here. All right, so I'll just throw a lid on, transfer that to a smaller burner and let that tick away for about half an hour. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, we'll get cracking on the dukkha. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those condiments out there, there's, there's some free will, it's your own personality, whatever you want to use, whatever you've got change on hand. Change spices, change your nuts. Exactly, whatever like you've it. got, use it. So in today's version of Dukkha, we're going to be working with hazelnuts, pistachios, being a, a Middle Eastern style dish with the sesame. And then fennel has gone in there because it's an awesome combination with orange and pears. So do you want to kick on with both the spices? Yep. We've got cumin and fennel. How much? Uh, tablespoon? Tablespoon, yeah, tablespoon. or two. A Courtney tablespoon. There we go, looks good. That. There, there would be people going, oh, but you haven't toasted off the spices before you put them into the blender or your mortar and pestle. There's two different flavour profiles of your spices. So if you roast them off, you're going to get a bit of a darker, um, richer roasted flavour to them, obviously. With the fennel and the cumin, keep them fresh. And they're, they're a little bit lighter, a little bit more vibrant, which is what we're after. Oh, I so, never knew that. Huh, I've learned go. something. There yeah. we go. Do you want to give them a <laughs> Hit the button. good old blitz? Look at that. Yep. Looks good, smells even better. So that can go, we're gonna use this little bowl here. Yeah. They can go into there uh -huh. with a little pinch of sea salt. We're just gonna throw the nuts in a fry pan and bang that in the oven for about 10 minutes to roast off. So I'm just gonna throw them blender, give it a quick pulse, break them up, 
rough chop, I'll let basically. You do it the pan's hot. In. <laughs> Done. Quick pulse. Quick pulse. Let's get a bit of a chunky chop happening. We good? Just a few chunks still. Yeah, that's all right. You gotta have a bit of texture in there. Those hazelnuts smell really good. Nice. So just give that a bit of a mix through. Throw the sesame seeds in. Toss them through. So we'll let the pears tick away for about another five to 10 minutes, get them nice and soft. And then we will go over the top with a big spoonful of dukkah and a generous hit of ice cream. And then I'm eating it. Deal. There we go, mate. The finished product, some saffron poached pears, a little pistachio dukkha, and a nice big whack of vanilla ice cream. I've got a spoon ready for a reason. Let's Enough talking. See how <laughs> these pears are cooked? You should be able to oh, look at cut that. through with a spoon. Yeah, nice. So good. Saffron, dukkha, dukkha. sweet ice cream. Pears cook perfectly. Tiny. Bit of texture, yep. still holding together, not but much. soft enough that you're not chasing it around the plate. I'm sure you guys have all seen Dukkha used in a savoury application before, but using it on a cool little dessert like that, again, no baking, so you seriously <laughs> cannot go wrong. My kind of dessert. It's foolproof. It's totally doable.